Hi everyone, time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. Alongside Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. And powering into the first week of the new year, here's a brand new look at the power rankings. They fall in the rankings this time around. Not an easy situation. And right now for Philadelphia, they've started the way we expected. Aggressive, relentless, just imposing their will upon lesser teams. Now it's ended down to David Aldridge standing by from the sidelines. David? Kevin, thanks. Last season, some people called on Joel Embiid to be more aggressive. The process accepted that with humility, saying, I want to be great, and it's only right for people to expect me to drop 35 a night. At the same time, he said, I'm not a selfish player. If the defense double teams me, it's about making the right play. Kevin? David, he is showing that maturity. Thanks for that report. And Chris just getting into a new year. Already injuries hitting a couple of teams. Yeah, Kevin, and the big thing, you know, in the year healthy. Get you know, guys back to 100%. Don't rush them back early. So here is Miami's starting group. Butler and Olenek, the forward duo. Avery Bradley is out there with Dragic, and it's Silva in at the five. And for Philadelphia, Harrison and Bede hold down the post for him. Ben Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibel, and it's Green in at small forward. So Philadelphia will get the first possession. Simmons passes to Embiid. Harris outside. Back to Embiid, and Embiid throws it down. See the no look pass by Harris right there. I mean, he's really the nose out of the It's looking it over. He dishes it to Brandon. Butler goes in. Now the 76ers with it. Here's Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. Physicality of Simmons on display. Showing some fight and fearlessness in plays like this. Outside Dragic. Pass to Brandon. Olenek sets a screen for Butler. Pocket it six. It's hauled in by the 76ers. The last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. Yeah, and in that one, they caused a lot of misfires with their intensity on the defensive end. They played with energy and communicated well. It made things difficult. And B, no good. He's not an easy man to stop. He's attacking the basket, the deep, doing everything he can. Outside, Dragic. Bradley dishes the bubble. And he takes it in. And there it is for him. Oh, this is Butler's bread and butter. At times, he has this on automatic. 76ers have gone. Two or three here to start out the game. This is it to Harris. Outside, Simmons. And then Simmons slams it in. The versatility of Simmons is astounding, amazing, impressive. Dunks like this are just insane. And everyone wants Simmons to add a consistent outside jump shot. But while that's a work in progress, Simmons is just fine at the rim. An incredibly adept finisher up close. Now, here's Butler. Really disappointing game for him in that loss to Chicago. Bradley then for two. Simmons pulls it in. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Here's MP. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And see, Webb, as you said with Simmons, when he's going at the rim, he's as good as it gets. Oh, yes, a great blend of size, speed, and strength. He controls his body to create space. He can lay it up from unorthodox angles break, with ease. Two shots. That free throw, no good. You know, Greg, we can all agree that Joel Embiid's a superstar in the league with this play, but you get the feeling he's the most criticized superstar in the league right now as well. 
you know, pundits and fans have questioned his fitness, his fit. But at the end of the day, he does get it done. And the numbers speak for themselves. Embiid's an outspoken guy which can invite a lot of criticism. Now, here's Dragic. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. Takes it inside. And Embiid with the block. Oh, you got to be careful about Embiid. He's around. He's capable of coming up with these blocks. Eats away. Doesn't go that time. And he going the other way now. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. you got to be locked in on the road. I mean, when there's no cohesiveness on defense, you're in danger. Here's Simmons. He knocking down the tray. The pass to Harris. There's the triple. And the 76ers get it back. Embiid, no good. He's forcing things a little bit in this corner. Settling for shots, he'd be better off passing them. To the right side. For three, he'll win it. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Al Simmons, 14 points from him the last game against San Antonio. Yeah, but I like how he defended as well. You know, he got a couple blocks in that game and just an all-around great effort. Terrific and penetrating inside. The mobility Simmons possesses at his size, amazing. Outside Brent. Here's the floater. Simmons pulls it in. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Outside Green. Pass to Embiid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Silva pulls it down. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he has not get his shots to drop. Pass to Olenek. Loads it up for Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Oh, and the connection Butler has with his teammates. He knows when they're going to throw it his way. Now here's Simmons. He has six. And here now is Thibel. Embiid finds Thibel. No good from outside. Rogic with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Outside Brent. Heat moving the ball around. Butler on the win. Headed by Green. No good from Trogic. Philadelphia's gone. 0-2 from the Eagle. Outside Green. 76ers with another miss. Miami trailing. It's Bradley on the wing. Defended by Thibel. Rockets against Simmons. Rejected by Harris. He's known for his offense more than defense. Harris plays with the high motor. And he likes to make plays. Here's Simmons. One of the defendable scorers on the team, he's averaging close to 17 points a game. Here's Embiid. Another miss by Philadelphia. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Oh, just off his game, forcing a few shots, not letting the game come to him naturally. Now, here's Bradley. Currently averaging almost six points a game. Over Thibel. And Bradley gets it to go. And the Heat lead by two. A combo guard with fantastic handles. It's clear Bradley enjoys ripping off these moves. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. They're trying to stem the tide here. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup and, and revisit their strategy at the defensive. <laughs>
Cowards check in for Tobias Harris. Jake Milton comes in for Danny Green. And it's Seth Curry in for Matisse Thibel. And a new group in for the Heat. Myers Leonard, he's checked in for Olenek. Duncan Robinson comes in for Jimmy Butler. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for Avery Bradley. And Hero subbed in for Goran Dragic. Now, here's Milton. Pass to Howard. And here's MB. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Milton, one up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Good at recognizing when the defense is overcommitted. I mean, Embiid is terrific at sharing the ball. Hero passes to Silver. Now, none. Curry with some nice D. Philadelphia's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Embiid, the pass to Curry. A three-pointer, no good. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Here's Hero. Guided by Simmons. Hero, no good. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Here's Milton. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Ryan is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's Hero. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. The 76ers shooting 33% in the first quarter. Simmons looking it over. Now the pass to Howard. Outside, Simmons. And he lays it straight in. Simmons got eight. Six foot ten Simmons. I mean, he has some insane hands. He's phenomenal at creating for himself. None kicks to Leonard. Outside Robinson. Pass to Hero. Here's the three. A shot off that time. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Now Simmons. He's got eight. Pass to Milton. There's the three. It's rebounded by Leonard. They have not met for a while a chance to do so here. Well, they'd like to retake the lead on this possession. Here's Hero. Guarded by Simmons. And it's blocked by Simmons. The beats of Simmons are coming into play on these blocks. You've got to be careful shooting around this guy. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And read the play perfectly. Gets himself in the air at the right moment. Terrific denial. Maxie's checked in for Simmons. Six on the shot clock. The end the drought. None can't get it to four. The 76ers lead. Outside curve. And he drives in. And the wide open. It's rebounded by Leonard. Leonard's got four rebounds now tonight. A really tough night for him off history. I mean, I wonder what the score would be if he wasn't so cold from the field. Here's Hero. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This is the like, and he knows it. the best thing they can do is try to get him more easy looks. And Kendrick Nunn is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Bork Mize checked in for Philadelphia. Six. Howard trying to free himself up. And that one's good. Maxie 
And, and really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Stolen. 103 left to play in the first quarter. With some arc and the layup by Curry. And three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling there. And here's Nunn. 11 points for him in that last game against the Bulls in Chicago. And he gets the bucket. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. That doesn't constitute defense. Now here's Curry. Nunn grabs the board. That works just like they drew it up. Until the part where he short arms the play. About seven seconds of bringing the shot in game clocks. And he's good on the three ball. And now just a 1.76ers lead. Philadelphia shooting in this first quarter around 38%. They're looking a bit creaky out there. Here's Max. Passes it to Embiid. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Ben Simmons making highlights for Philadelphia. Scoring, rebounding. He was all over the place during that quarter. They are writing his performance right now. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And we spoke with Jimmy Butler not too long ago about his teammates. These guys work so hard and they're young and they're professional with it. Um, that you're, you're, you're playing that seed early. So they can only get better and they're learning and they're gaining confidence because they're playing so well. So with me being here with these guys, we're special. Greg, it sounds like Butler has found happiness. You know, people don't talk enough about fit. It's important to be in an organization and a system that maximizes your abilities. Butler's playing some of the best ball in his life and making everyone around him better. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the 76ers. They've been effectively aggressive here in the first half. Driving to the hoop with authority and getting a lot of their points right at the rim. And also, it's been a positive to watch that they've attacked the paint offensively as well. It's really been about the balance that they've shown. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. That court guards are Trogic and Hero. Butler and Olenek, the forward duo. And it's Leonard in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. It's stolen by Dragic. There's the pass to Hero. Now here's Leonard. And he uses the glass on the lane. Leonard's got his first basket of the night. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Ball's not loose. Harris dishes to Howard. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Dwight Howard, you know, not the same 35 minute a game player he once was but I tell you what when he's on the floor he can still be every bit as effective yeah Howard can win teams that go small against him I mean he provides a big body to deal with other strong centers I mean he also gives the team some great flexibility with how they match up that free throw no good when you look at the balance of power between players and teams Greg does it feel like the players now have more say more control than they used to no doubt. Uh, we're seeing more players demand trades, sign shorter contracts with opt-outs. And the irony of that is, in my era, our best players were fearful for the length of their contracts mm. or, or the life expectancy of their careers, believe it or not. And these guys today, they understand their value. They know what they bring to the table. And they are utilizing that to the max. And is that good, Greg, for the game? 
I think so. I, I, I do think most guys want to win, and they understand that their legacies are going to be defined about whether or not they do. Shoots a fader. Four on the clock. Leonard trying to break free. And it's Butler missing. And Simmons has got the ball here for the 76ers. And Harris wide open. He shoots off the mark there with the three-point shot. Well, he'd have gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. Dragic with it. He had 27 points last game. Now, with it, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Simmons with it. Butler covering. Simmons passes to Green. For the three. Hangs. And Howard finishes it on. And the 76ers lead by two. Throughout his career, Howard has dominated the board with his size, touch, and time that he possesses. Just a lethal concoction. Simmons against Dragic. Back loose. And stolen by Simmons. And stolen by Butler. And stolen by Simmons. And now Philadelphia on the break. Harris, no good. Heat shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. Outside Dragic. It's deflected and stolen by Harris. Driving inside. Milton's shot is good. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Outside Dragic. This is at the bottom. Kicks the ball. And he drew the blocking foul. He'll go to the line for two. And Avery Bradley still a solid player for this team. You know, maybe not in his prime, but still defensively, he's a difference maker. Yes, yeah. I mean, injuries have slowed Bradley down over the years, but he still has some great footwork. He's physical on defense. He's undersized, but he can match up with either guard spot. And the first one at the line is good. I mean, in that 6-3, Bradley is a plus defender thanks to his quickness and tenacity. And the 76ers making a change here. Eibel's checked in. Second free throw, no good. The 76ers leading by three. Eibel on the wing. Three pointer. Here's Howard. And Howard with the stop. Howard is still back to win. We just see the two. Well, he'd have gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. Outside break. Of it. And stolen by Feibel. And Simmons kicks to Milton. To the wing right side. Six to shoot. And there's the call on Howard. That's his first foul. The Heat trail by five. Now here's Bradley. Here's Dragic from outside. Miami no good on that time either. Simmons passes to Howard. Here's Milton. Simmons left side. He can't get that one. The Heat shooting about 33%. Not happy with their play on that end. And here's Dragic. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Outside Butler. Driving to the basket. And again, it's the Heat missing. The 76ers leading by five. Milton in the corner. A three. But they'll get another chance. 
Harris against Leonard. Here's Milton. He shoots again. Power kicks to Thibel. No luck. They battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. And it's Dragic with the ball for the Miami Heat. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Pass to Bradley. Leonard sets a screen for Butler. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And as impressive as the numbers were for Jimmy Butler in the bubble, they don't begin to tell the whole story. He was hitting clutch shots for the Heat during that run in the postseason. First free throw is good. You know, Greg, going back to Jimmy Butler, it felt like each series he had a few big shots. I mean, everything you want from your leader. The, the big shots, motivating others, setting an example with his play. Butler played as well as any leader in the postseason. The 76ers making a switch here. Embiid's checked in. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Oh, the 30th pick in the 2011 NBA draft. It's been great to see Butler blossom into a perennial all-star. Now here's Simmons. He's got eight. Pass to Embiid. He got a piece of it. Stolen by Robinson. Here's none. Passes it to Silver. He kicks it to Butler. Going inside. That size winning out. I mean, he needed every single week to hold in that one. Simmons passes to Fiber. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. They get a hand on it. And now here comes Robinson in the break. On the way, Harris. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Harris has got the lead up to 7 now for the 76ers. And here are the Heat now. None with it. Five points in the game. The dish to Robinson. The pass to Butler. And there's a foul. We'll go on Shake Milton. That's foul number two for him. That's number two on him already. The third foul before the half, and he may be grabbing some pie. Curry's checked in for Shake Milton. Tyler Hero, he's checked in for the Heat. Shoots it. Miami no good on that time either. He is just really an almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Curry deciding where to go with it. To the left side wing. Pass to Harris. Just five to shoot. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Olenek. Oh, man, the defenders have to be more cautious when guarding Harris. He is constantly looking to draw contact on the shots. First trip to the line for him here. And that 84% free throw percentage is a testament to all the hard work he's put in on the line. That's good from Harris. Greg is a point guard. What is it you like to see from that position on the floor? I think first and foremost, leadership. Uh, it, it's so valuable at that spot. And, you know, you, you, you always got to have your head high because your teammates are feeding off what you put forth in terms of your body language and enthusiasm. So, you know, the typical stuff about organizing the offense and, and setting the tone on the defensive end, that stuff's important as well. But so much of how you carry yourself out on the floor when you deal with adversity and you know that you're going to, it is really terrible. Here's 
Mitchell in it. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Bulls in Chicago. How about his defense? Four blocks on the night. He couldn't keep him down. Now, here's none. Just four to shoot. Olenek dishes to Robinson. Off target with his three. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Pass to Embiid. Fader on the way. Rebound by the Heat. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a button. Here's Silva. He had a 12 point outing in their last game against the Bulls in Chicago. And the shot goes in. None got seven. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Outside court. On left of the wing. Harris looking it over. Outside for Curry. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Five points in the game. And it's not difficult to see the potential that Harris has. I mean, he's a guy that can do just about everything out there. Now Robinson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Here's Hero. The shot falls for only his second bucket. Two for nine. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. That doesn't cost the team defense. Here's Cork Bonds. Now here's MB. And misses it off the right side of the rim. 157 left now here in the second. Outside Robinson. Here's Silva, guarded by Embiid, passes to Hero. Good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Taken away. And they're on the break. Out to the right wing. Robinson a screen on Kirk. One nineteen left in the first half. Maxi passes to Harris. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Now we get a chance to check out some stats for Ben Simmons. And the stat to look at is his steal total over the last five games. He's been focusing more on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot tougher on D. Shoot two. That's good from Harris. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. And Harris drops them both. I mean, you look at the all-around game with Harris. He's even really good from the free throw line. And the pass to Silva. Hero passes to none. Back at six. Driving the lane. For a player who's almost a sure thing to score in tight, that was a stunt. Maxi passes to MB. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Olenek against Curry. Three-pointer. There's Embiid. It's deflected. There's a four-second difference in the shot clock to the game clock. None passes to Olenek. It's stolen by Harris. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, no need to rush right here. Let the clock run a little bit. Execute your offense. And Miami making a change here.
Here's Hero. Plays it up and banks it in. Hero's got six points. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And that concludes the first half. Philadelphia ahead. They lead by eight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, an early lead and a lot to like in the performance thus far. Would you agree? Oh, I thought we played great. Defensively, I know that I had someone behind me but made a mistake that was going to protect the win. I thought we did great. We know the adjustments are coming, and we'll see who takes advantage. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. They ended the period holding on to a slim one-point lead. They were firmly in control in the second quarter, and their lead stands at eight here at halftime. Let's start with you, Shaq. What do you think about the Sixers? They've really worked the inside well. Wow. Perfection. They're getting a lot uh, out of the offense from the paint. And when you're that effective inside, Ernie Kenny, you know, I know, makes life very hard for your opponent. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Miami? Poor efficiency on offense. That's what jumps out at me. You aren't going to win many games shooting under 35%. Bad shot selection, too much one-on-one -on -one play, not finishing with authority. Now, these are correctable errors. They could choose to come out in the second half and completely flip that script. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. The second half of this game still to play. We've seen a tremendous game from Harris. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. Yeah, yeah I mean, showing that tenacity both mentally and physically. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. The Heat trail by eight. Harris and Embiid hold down the post for him. Matisse Thibault's out there with Simmons, and it's Green in at the small forward position. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Now, here's Butler. Five points in the game. Good on the bucket. Oh, we've seen this countless times from Butler. I mean, he just finds a way to get the space he needs to capitalize. Simmons dishes to Embiid. Pass to Green. Takes the three. Philadelphia with a new shot clock. Embiid's shot is good. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. He shoots just 34% from the floor. Pass to Olenek. From outside the arc. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding. Simmons passes to Embiid. a minute point as the second half gets going. Green against Buck. Shot clock at five. There's Embiid. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Butler kicks to Brantley. Passes it to Silver. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Dragic gets the bucket. Well, he can be sneaky good from deep sometimes. I mean, when he gets clean looks, he's got the ability to do some damage out there. Now here's MB. He has five. The shot's good. Never easy trying to stop him. He will be fouled. He still finds ways to muscle shots in. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%?
Greg, did you know when you were playing that you'd eventually want to call games, be in the broadcast uh, table? Kevin, no idea. I, I didn't have any clue. And, and quite honestly, didn't really think that there was a, a career that one could have in terms of broadcast. You know, this cable was just kind of coming on as I was retiring. You didn't have your own network and the things that we take for granted now. So, looking back on it, no, but I am not glad I did. I am glad you did, too. You, you probably don't remember this. Doc Rivers and I were doing a game. You came over to say hi to the two of us. Went back out on the floor. Doc not just means that he'll be great in TV. We saw it then. He's a good man, man. Harris with it. Now guarded by Bradley. There's Embiid. And terrific work on the offensive glass. And it picks up two. Embiid's got the lead up to 12 now for the 76ers. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And, and what a factor Ben Simmons is on the floor. Does so much for this team in every facet of the game. He's a triple-double threat whenever he suits up. and three rebounds and clearly he's having a tough stretch here but it's all about how you respond to the adversity that'll be key yeah but we'll see if he has the mental toughness to turn it around if not they've got a few other guys ready to step up and start stealing some of those minutes now here's Dragic he's been putting up the points on a very steady basis averaging around 17 and a half points a game Bradley finds Butler a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And there's the pass to Harris. Outside, Simmons. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. The 76ers have gone 7 of 9 from the free throw line tonight. And when you look at that free throw percentage on the season, they're, they're right around 73%. That one misses for Simmons. I mean, what you can appreciate about Simmons is his all-around game. I mean, he can score, he can pass, I mean, he can rebound. And he does it all at an efficient rate. Now, here's Dragic. Outside Brent. And there's the drive. And it's blocked. Dragic against Simmons. And the wide open shot from Green. Corin Dragic grabs the board. The Heat trail by 16. Kicks it to Bradley. He dishes it to Butler. I don't know if it's been the main factor, but this off night has definitely been one factor. Here is Simmons. 12 points for him. 
Green, the pass to Embiid. Shoots over Kragic, and there's Embiid. That's good on the assist by Green. Embiid's got 14 points. They're not playing defense with anywhere near the passion they showed in the first half. There, there's been a big-time drop-off. Sixers. Howard's jacked in for Harris. And it's Shake Milton in for Matisse Thibault. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks. A trend that they'd like to reverse. Now here's Dragic. He kicks it to Bradley. Butler with the ball. Dragic with a screen for Butler. And he's really trying to get them back into it, but the results just have not been there. Milton in the corner. Shoots over Bradley. They get it again. Howard. And he banks in the lane. Howard's got seven points. Love the energy Howard plays with. It feels like no one can contain him on the way up. Now Dragic. Now here's Butler. Outside Brent. They need this. And again, it's the Heat missing. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's something that happens to every team. You just have to ride it out, play your hardest, and live with yourselves. Now here's MB. And that one, good. Embiid's got 13 points in the second half. And he delivers another blow. Something's gotten into him this quarter. He's carrying the offense. Now a timeout called by Miami. Joel Embiid with a strong contribution in this one. There should only be one thing they're talking about in this timeout. Trying to deny him the ball before he does any more damage. Wise. Ben Simmons third, and of course, Bam Adebayo. You can't say enough about these two guys shooting this season. Both their percentages, just incredible stuff. Come out, come out, come out. 
And it's Dragic off the drive. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Dragic has got his second bucket of the night. On the drive, Dragic's footwork really shines. His ability to make quick moves around the defense gets him to the rim. Simmons finds Howard. On the wing, Milton. Right wing. Here's Embiid. No good off the back of the rim. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would tonight. On their pass to Brandon. Here's Silver. Here's Bradley. Outside Dragic. Broke loose. Simmons with it. Now guarded by Dragic. A floater. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Out to the wing. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got four assists in the game. Once again, how dominant he is. Once Embiid gets rolling, it's like an avalanche. Now here's Dragic. He has five. Butler dishes to Bradley. With the drive. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on Ben Simmons. Oh, just an admirable job by Bradley. Quickly jetting towards the defense and getting the call thanks to his aggressiveness. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. I love how they've attacked the basket in this game. They've taken a very aggressive approach. Yeah, but don't forget about their points in the paint because those have been big. That one is off. Some changes for Philadelphia. Seth Curry comes in for Shake Milton. And Maxey subbed in for Green. Duncan Robinson, he's checked in for the Heat. Hero comes in for Goran Dragic. Second free throw, good. And so here is Philadelphia. And here's Maxi. Here's Embiid. Robinson pulls it in. A three. No good that time. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Simmons with it. He's got 12. Banked in off the glass. Simmons got six here in this quarter. And you see how comfortable Simmons is. I mean, he has the size and touch to be effective down. Outside Butler. A three ball. A shot missing. Simmons with the defensive effort. The 76ers leading by 23. Pass to Howard. Now here's MB. Defended by Butler. And B kicks to Howard. Down to five on the shot clock. And Simmons slams it in. Give him another. Simmons is terrific tonight. He's figuring out ways to light it up. They can use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket.
plugged in for the Heat. And let's take a look now at Joel Embiid's numbers. He's been fantastic over the last 10 games or so. First in rebounding, second in blocks, and he sits in the top 15 in points per game. An absolute powerhouse offensively. And just going back real quick to the fact that he's tops in the league in rebounds, what a tremendous feat. What a monster he is in the paint. Here's Hero. He has six. Miami no good on that time either. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Back to Curry. Let's it go from deep. Here's Howard. And that's good. A nice job on the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Outside Leonard. Butler against Embiid, fades back. Butler, no good. Does a good job just to get the shot off the even if he can't knock it down. The fadeaway is really his only choice. And Howard with the stuff. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 14 rebounds. Now this is the chemistry Howard has with this guy. He's fantastic at realizing when to go for Allen. Now, none. Seven points in the game. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. A flat-out loss of concentration. That kind of turnover will drive a coach crazy. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. The, the defensive awareness, the timing. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Mark Myers, he's jacked in for Philadelphia. Philadelphia's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Pass to Embiid. Now, here's Maxi. What a terrific move that was. Maxi's got his second bucket of the game to go. And after what was just a horrendous shooting performance in that first half, they're finally starting to find their rhythm here in the second. Now, here is Robinson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Drills the three-pointer. Well, it was just a mystery what the defense was doing there. You never want to give him that much space outside the three-point line. Here's Max. Up top, MB. And stolen by Butler. A minute 20 left in the third quarter of the game. None can't get it to fall. They are enjoying a commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Uh, just a dream scenario for them so far. Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Now here's Leonard. Outside Robinson. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Robinson's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Heat. Maxi passes to Embiid. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Over Butler. Misses off the right iron. Heat shooting a pretty wretched 28% in the third quarter. This offense needs to maybe try some different angles. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. And a miss there on the triple. The 76ers shooting from the field. 44%. Not bad. Here's Max. There's the pick. Passes it to Embiid. Fades. And he beats the buzzer. Wow. Yeah, that's just an amazing play to get that ball off in time. All about the clock awareness. Great job to come through for a squad right there. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers having no problems at all. Up 29 points heading into the next quarter. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And we'll be back with you shortly.
And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. Our fourth quarter action on the way presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup. On the court for the Heat, we've got Kendrick Nunn. Haslam's out there with Iguodala. Then there's Mo Harkless, and it's Drogic in at the point. Now here's Harkless. Chris, you played for five different teams in your career and a number of different coaches. As you look back, what percentage of great coaching is X's and O's? And what percentage is just inspiring your players and getting them motivated? X's and O's are probably the most important. Uh, you need a coach that can adapt to the system, to the players on his team, to the teams that are coming out, that can adjust in coaching style. And so uh, I definitely think uh, as far as that, the coaching, the skill set and the play calling is definitely uh, important. And I think motivation has a part to play as well. Now here's Dragic after Mo Harkless's miss. Second shot opportunity. The offensive rebound. Dragic has gone two for eight, shooting just 25% from the field. The pass to Bradley. And here's Maxi. And it's Haslam with the rebound. Now he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. The good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. Nunn looking around. Iguodala setting the pick for Nunn. Fires from deep. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Korkmaz passes to Maxi. Quarter of play, about two minutes in now. And it's Dragic with the rebound. Dragic has got his fourth rebound in this one. Harkless with the screen for none. Driving in. Maxi grabs the miss. 76ers have gotten off to a rough start in the fourth quarter, going all for four so far. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. And that one's good. Quick box. And, and offensively, they seem to have turned a corner. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Pass to Dragic. Back to none. Has them with it. Guarded by Brath. Six on the shot clock. And there's the call on Matisse Thibel. That's his first foul. And with the move league-wide for greater representation, some are calling for more diversity in front offices. Uh, Chris, some say progress isn't coming fast enough. What do you think? I think progress uh, hasn't happened fast enough either. Put me on that list. Let me sign that petition. Uh, because even in the coaching ranks, we have black head coaches this season. You know, teams need to hire the best candidate. No one's saying anything different than that. But the fact of the matter is, they're not interviewing some of the best candidates. That's all. There's some of the best candidates in the door, and they should be hired. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. And they aren't just chucking up anything. I mean, they're doing a great job of creating quality hooks. Now, here's Milton. Puts the move on. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Clearly a foul. Shooting for Philadelphia, Shane Milton, at the line for two. Two shots, Max on the first. throw good Milton <laughs> 
No good on the second free throw. Ray, compare the times when you played as an NBA player with a lot more contact, what was let go on the floor, to what we're seeing now. And there seem to be a lot of whistles, a lot of stoppage of play. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You, you know, you got to allow players to defend. And if they're in a legal guarding position, let them do their job. You know, eliminate the cheap ones. Part of the issue, though, partner, is now so much of the game is played on an island, right? You, yep. you don't have the crowds that you typically would see guys in back in our area. There's more space. The court, in essence, is bigger. Uh, you're out there kind of on your own, man. And these guys are crafty at drawing fouls. It's never been harder for a defender. Now, here's Maxi. After the miss from Goran Dragic, pass to Milton. And it's Thibel in the corner. Another three for Philadelphia. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Haslam dishes to Bradley. Oh, that's blocked. And they're able to recover. Haslam is screen on Bradley. Here's Igudala. Headshot off. Bradley with some nice D. Philadelphia has gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Axie passes to Milton. And it's Thibel in the corner. Lots of room. The shot comes out. The Heat go the other way with it. Out to the right wing. Rogic dishes to Bradley. The tray. Fourier grabs the miss. 76 76ers have gone through the eight here in the fourth quarter. Maxi passes to Bradley. Now here's Milton. Defended by Hartless. Spins the shot and grabs the rebound. About as big an impact as you can have on a possession. Rogic kicks to Igudala. Greg, it's pretty typical for players of the past to talk about current players and say they may have struggled had they played when I played. What do you think of that line of thinking? You know, I, I, I just don't agree with that. It, 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 I, I think we all do that. We all feel like our era was the best. I had the same thoughts being passed my way when I first came into the league. I'm sure. The reality is these guys work just as hard as guys work back in our era. They just have more understanding of what their value is and in a lot of ways they've got more courage to speak out because you know let's face it they're more of a bullseye on their back in today's era with social media than we've ever seen before that is true Bradley can't get it to go Philadelphia shooting just 30 percent for the field here in the fourth and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam he may not be thought of as big for a center but with his ability to go vertical he sure plays big They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Pass to Brant. Good ball movement here by Miami. Harkless on the wing. Defended by Milton. To stop the drought. Rebound by the 76ers. Brantley's got his fourth rebound in this one. And here is Milton. The pass to Poirier over Iguodala. It's hauled in by the Heat. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Yeah, that's not his spot. Plain and simple. He's trying to force something is really a good idea. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. Both teams will make substitutions. Deep two from Robinson. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Great work right there on the inbounds play. Getting the bucket before the D has time to get. Pass to Simmons. And he drops. 
Jones in the layup off the glass. Simmons got 10 points in just the second half. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. To the paint, here's Harkless. Oh, and the jam by Harkless. Oh, great flow to that possession. Two players totally in sync with each other. Pass to Milton. Here's Poirier. Back to Milton. Puts up a three. It's hauled in by the Heat. Haslam's got five rebounds tonight. Bradley kicks to Haslam. Passes it to Bradley. Back to Robinson. Haslam can't get it to go. Philadelphia's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Outside, Simmons. The pass to Poirier. And it's Haslam with the rebound. Haslam's got his sixth rebound on the night. Bradley dishes to Haslam. Hey, close out our neighbor. Shoots the three. And Bradley gets it to go on the assist by Robinson. Oh, man, he uses quickness, athleticism to find that space to shoot. Bradley's got a nice touch from the ball. Pass to Simmons. That's a floater go. Rebound by the Heat. Diego Dalla deciding where to go with it. Chris, we know the business of basketball is red hot. Franchise values are skyrocketing. And not only that, Chris, the NBA is America's most popular sport among those 34 and younger. Well, yeah, it was cool, Kevin. That, that, that bodes well for the future, right? It wouldn't surprise me in the next decade or so that the NBA became the premier sport in the U.S. Here's Simmons after the made shot from Andre Iguodala. Poirier, no good. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. Bradley drives in. It's deflected. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Philadelphia. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so this will mark the 15th win of the year for them. And against a conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series to establish a psychological edge. And guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance, it was a big time outing for Ben Simmons. For the biggest impact he had was with his on the ball defense. Such quick hands, he steals added up to a lot of extra position. Here's Iguodon. 76ers getting the bucket. 43 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And the champ by Andre Iguodala. Uh, and you love the veteran footwork. I mean, Iguodala off the trap. Here's Philadelphia. Outside, Simmons. Joe, guarded by Robinson. Pass to Milton. Shot clock at six. And it's Simmons penetrating. Makes it off the glass. And it's just competing. And, you know, giving your best when it matters most. Well, this is what guys play for. And when it pans out like this, it's a great fit. Here's Bradley. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Well, energy is rarely a question when it comes to Bradley. He's consistently knocking on the defense's door. Shooting two. That free throw good from Bradley. And so Bradley nails both of them. 
Here's Simmons. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but we have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Hey, thank you, Kevin. Joel, congrats on the win. A quality win. How did you secure it? Oh, we played. We were tough tonight. We won soft. Uh, we shared the ball defensive, and we were really good. And that's what we got to do the rest of the season. Well, you're building towards something good, man. Congratulations on the win. Kevin? All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll do it, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alford, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.